What's going on you guys? How you doing today? So I just woke up, I turned on Warframe, and I saw that there was an alert for a steel charge. And I'm thinking, like, this is good for new players. I want to show you guys how you can start making platinum in the game for, like, your Warframe slots, or, uh, or just anything like that. If you guys see, like, an alert that happens, um, where you're gonna get a mod from it, chances are that mod is sellable. Um, especially if he alerts a pain in the butt kind of alert, but this is what you guys want to do. We're gonna find out um, We're gonna find out how difficult this mission is. It might just be a normal regular thing, but you guys go over to recruiting here and type into recruiting um, Let's say steel Charge alerts um, And then do something like zero zero zero. It doesn't matter what numbers you put these numbers are gonna be your tag so basically, anybody that types 000 in here or anything like that is basically going to be, like, that means, here we go, 7th Dark Angel wants to uh, wants to join us on this. So I'm going to invite 7th Dark Angel. Um, oh, shit. Come on, Warframe. Why do I have to be in this goddamn thing? Um, okay, wait. Where are we? Fuck. 7th Dark Angel. Here we go. And I'm going to go to... Uh, why do these invites have to be in the way? Invite to Clin, no, it's probably this one. Yeah, that one, alright. Second one down, invite. I know that was hard to see, because I got people sending me messages, and he's probably inviting me to his thing. But, uh, alright, and then we got Blitz. Oh, cool, Blitz? Awesome, man, good on you for, uh, for going out of your way to send me a message. I appreciate you. So, okay, cool, now we're inviting Blitz. Um, and then what else have we got? Let's see. Rock and Roll is another one. Let's see if he was in order. Blitz and then Rock and Roll. Cool. All right. Also, why does it keep doing that? Why is all this shit popping up? I just woke up. I don't even know. <laughs> is this real life? I don't know where I am right now. Okay. So we're inviting Rock and Roll, right? Did we invite him? Yeah, twice. Okay. All right, cool. So here's what we... So this is what we did. Basically, we went to recruiting chat. We typed in, you know, like, uh, steel charge alert, and we put a number at the end of it. That number could have been anything. It could have been 21. It could have been 372. It could have been, like, doesn't matter. The point is, is that that number is a tag. And when other people put that number in there, uh, basically that means they want to do the alert that you're talking about. So we got a team together. We're looking at Ash, Nova, and Nova. Good, okay. So I kind of guessed right by putting my frost on. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go do this alert, which is popping up here as the steel charge right there. It's on Europa level 23 to 25. It's an excavation. So, uh, I know excavations, we want to protect the excavator. So I threw my frost on. The Novas are gonna be good for slowing the crowd down and keeping them, uh, from basically, like, breaking the excavators and stuff like that. And, um... Oh, fuck shit up. What's going on, you guys? I totally didn't realize I wasn't in a party. I just woke up and I'm making videos for YouTube, so... Um, your audio may or may not be included. <laughs> but what's going on, you guys? So, uh, how long have you guys been playing Warframe? Shit, I've been on now for probably about eight months. Eight months, cool. What, uh, what do you like most about the game so far? Honestly, it's it's a really in-depth and uh, complex game for a free-to-play. It'll keep you coming back, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, awesome. What uh, what's your favorite frame in the game at the moment? Uh, that's tough. I'm really liking Ash Prime though. Now that I'm getting him running. Ash Prime. I heard. Now this isn't this isn't meant to like discourage or anything like that, but I heard they were gonna change uh, Ash a little bit, like they're working on reworking him to make yeah, him. Yeah, they were gonna rework Blade Storm a little bit, but we'll see what happens. So all right, just being in this mission. Oh, and by the way, I'm again I'm making a video for YouTube, so I may be talking to you, I may not be talking to you, um, but it's it's all good. Just I'm just gonna go with this. So. I'm looking at the uh, the stealth, you guys, on the, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the, the fact that I have a shield right now, so I know this is not an, uh, a nightmare mission. This isn't a nightmare alert. So that's a good thing. The nightmare alerts are kind of a pain in the ass, especially if you're a newer player to Warframe, but when, uh, when you guys go into these things, um, whether it's nightmare or not, especially if you're new to the game, definitely, like, go into recruiting chat, tag, like, put a number at the end of, uh, of whatever it is you're looking for, and... Basically, that's how you're going to get people to help you out with stuff. So, 
when you when we do wind up getting this mod this mod is a great mod it should be pretty easy to sell so for those of you guys that are looking for like warframe slots um weapon slots or anything like that you should be able to get it like right off the bat just from selling this mod once um they used to go for like 30 plat especially a steel charge because it's a great uh, it's it's one of the great ones um as far as aura slot mods go but I'm thinking, like, lately I feel like it'd probably just be easier to sell it for 20 for those of you guys that are looking to get rid of it for plat, just because there's more and more people playing the game, the game's been out longer, there's just more people that have it, but you know what? Don't shoot yourself in the foot right away. If you can get rid of it for 30 go for it. And uh, for those of you guys that are new to, like, excavation missions, it's really just these... We're going to get five excavators. We have to get 500 cryotic. This excavator right here is really... All we're doing is just protecting the thing and we're getting, we're extracting cryotic from like the planet. And as soon as we get enough, we can extract, mission over, and uh, mods all ours. Alright you guys, so we got our steel charge from completing that mission and this is what we're going to try and do now. I'm not sure if this is going to work right away because we literally just got the thing, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to type in, um, want to sell... Steel charge. Um, and then I could do PMO, but I'm just going to say I want to sell steel charge. And then we'll see if we get any offers or anything like that for steel charge. But ultimately, these alerts are popping up fairly often. And even if, let's say, you can only sell it for five plat and you got to do like four of them, that wasn't that difficult. That mission in total took maybe about five minutes to do, maybe like seven minutes it really wasn't that big of a deal and i mean it's it's kind of the point where it's like in the beginning of the game i mean i guess you could like hold off and pray that someone's gonna want to buy the steel charge for like i don't know 20 plat or whatever like right away but ultimately that could take you hours and if you don't i guess like get rid of it within you know like a few hours then it might have been worth it for you to just get rid of it for like five plat or something like that like oh i just typed it so i can't type it again but uh i was gonna type like wanna sell steel charge for like 10 plat see if that'll move the thing oh you know what's probably likely gonna happen here's what i recommend I recommend waiting a few hours or something um like long after the event because there's gonna be a new group of people like, here we go, 7th Dark Angel was just with me, he's trying to sell Steel Charge. Um, and uh, I think I saw Blitz in here. Here's, here's what I want to do, or I mean, what, what, I'd, what I'd recommend. If you can't sell the thing right away because a lot of other people have probably just done the alert and trying to sell it too, wait a few hours where there's a new group of people that signed on to Warframe, or right now it's still early in the day, so maybe like, you know, when all the kids are coming home from school and they're jumping on the game and stuff like that, you'll have steel charges for them to do, uh, for them to buy. Um, but whether, whether it gets sold right away or not, Steel Charge is an amazing mod. Like, the thing is gonna get sold. If you really wanted to, if you really wanted to move it, we can absolutely move the Steel Charge mod, um, without, like, you know, it being too much of a challenge. So we'll go over and take a look at, let's just go over and take a look at some of the mods. I'm actually not even gonna try to sell anything anymore right now, because I probably, I probably do need to wait a little while to be able to sell these mods, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at some of the good ones. So, of the mods that you want to sell, uh, that you want to go for and sell, that, that pop up, and this is just the Aura mods, there are other styles of mods that pop up. Corrosive Projection is absolutely one of them. This is such an important mod. It's in the mods that I recommend that you guys must have, like the Warframe video that I made where with all the other mods. Links to that will be in the description below. But definitely recommend a Corrosive Projection. The other one would be an Energy Siphon. Energy Siphon is such a big deal. If you guys see this one, Energy Siphon like gives you your energy back slowly. So um, if you're using a Warframe that, you know, uh, you're you're relying a lot on their abilities, a lot, a lot on using up their energy, an Energy Siphon might be a good thing because, you know, you get to basically, re your energy is going to recharge. It says point, uh, plus 0 0.1 power rate. And then what is it? plus 0 0.6 power rate, that's per second, that you're going to wind up getting energy back. So figure every, um, ah, uh, come on, math, let's see, every 10 seconds, you're getting 6 energy back? I don't know, That's it's not bad, it's definitely not, and the more people that you have with it in your squad, the more likely that you're going to be able, uh, the, the faster your energy is going to come back. 
So that's a good one, Crosa Projection. What else do we have here? Um, where are we? Physique. This one's not bad. This one is maximum maximum health increase. All these Aura Mods, by the way, every one of the Aura Mods, if you have teammates that have these on too, they kind of like, you know, layer on top of each other. It's almost like you're wearing more than one mod at the same time. As long as you guys are within the same proximity, they're going to be working. Uh, rejuvenation is one. Team heal rates. Um, plus three heal rate for that one. Rifle Lamp is a good one. Um, and when I say good one, I don't mean the rest of them suck. I mean, like, it's a good one in a sense that, um, you know, a lot of people prefer using them. That's, that's what I mean. So I'm not saying these other ones aren't good. I'm just saying these are the ones that a lot of people prefer using. And then we got the Steel Charge one over here. Ultimately, this melee damage increased 60%, uh, melee weapon damage increased 60% melee damage. That's what we get out of the Steel Charge. So... These are a lot of the good ones that you want to look for. Another, uh, a bunch of other good ones that'll pop up, um, be, uh, Vigor, would be Armored Agility. Like, those are all, those are all good ones that pop up. So basically, just go to your alerts, check them all the time. I want you guys to just get into the habit of checking your alerts. You always want to look for, like, things like that. Mods or, or just anything that pops up in the alert that might be, like, a good thing that you can sell. Especially if you need plat, if, like, if that's what you're looking for. I, I'm usually... When I first started playing this game, it was probably about a year, uh, a year into the game. I was a year into the game, um, and I still didn't look at these alerts. And it was only recently since I started getting into teaching you guys how to make platinum that I've like been doing it religiously. So now it's cool because my eyes are on this all the time, and I just keep collecting these mods. The missions, especially when you get better at the game and you're further into it, the missions become really easy to do. Um, and a lot of them you can solo and you can just, you know, it takes like maybe three to seven minutes to like do any one of these missions. You could just do it by yourself, which is pretty cool. So let's see. Um, oh, I thought this might've been a sale. What's up, Weasel? I saw you, uh, so I saw you in trade and I was like, is that the Neo that I watch? I went to double check to make sure and it was, well, shit it is. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the support. Weasel, you're famous now. You made it into the video and, um... You guys, uh, that's it. That's basically what you want to do. Just look for these mods. It's a good way to make quick plat, and uh, especially if you're new. So, uh, hope this helps. You guys are awesome, and uh, I'm actually going to be making another video right after this one. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all later.